Welcome to Franchise Frenzy, tier number six. This is Bronco Juggalo. Coming in at number 14, I have Hellraiser, Hellseeker. Right here. Can't stand this movie. Gives me a headache, literally. Literally gives me a headache. It's probably my least favorite film in that entire franchise. In the number 13 spot, I have Children of the Corn, 666, Isaac's Return. This is probably the worst movie in this franchise. And yes, I mean that even with some of the newer films that are downright garbage. At number 12, we have Evil Bong High Five. Now, the reason why the number five is in the part six tier is because we had a movie put in between three and four, which was Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. And then we had Evil Bong 4, and now we have Evil Bong 5. But regardless, this is in at my number 12 spot. Now, from this point, because I love this movie, I love all these movies, but from this point, and this is probably my one of my least favorite in the franchise, actually, from this point on up, I love all of these films. Up next is probably my least favorite film in the Hammer Frankenstein franchise. It is Horror of Frankenstein in at number 11. Now, Horror of Frankenstein gives us the closest we get to a slasher, as we have... Frankenstein's monster running around, chasing people with an axe. At the number 10 spot, we have Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort. Now, I know a lot of people shit on this movie. And even though it's in the lower half of my ranking, I do really love it. It is mostly sex, but it's still awesome. I think the kills are good. I'm fine with the sex. And uh, yeah, I love this movie. Coming in at number 9, we have Saw 6, a really good film but not as good as some of the others. But I do like the continuing story that we have going on here. Coming up in the number eight spot, we have Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Beginning. Now, this is the prequel to the 2003 remake. I really enjoy this film. I like it a lot. There's a couple scenes that I like even more than in the original. And uh, I think that they do a really great job with this movie. I do wish I had another copy of this, but right now all I have is this one. I don't know where the case is. Coming in at number seven, we have Leprechaun Back to the Hood. Now, this is the film that confirms that the leprechauns are all different leprechauns, for those of you that still want to be idiots about it. There you go. Yeah, I said that. Fuck off. Coming in at the number six spot is The First Omen. Now, I do not have The First Omen on Blu-ray or DVD or anything like that yet because it hasn't been released yet. But I did watch it a few times on streaming. And I watched it enough times to really get a sense of where I would place it in this ranking. Guys, I had a blast with this movie. This one is really good. This is how you do a prequel to a horror film. You know how on number six I said this is how you do a prequel to a horror film? Well, this is how you do a part six to a horror film. This is done right. This was an amazing film. Absolutely love it. It's so hard to rank this franchise now because... Every film in this franchise is really good. I do know what my last one's going to be, but the top four, I just don't know. It's going to be hard to put them all together again. But Scream 6 is my number five. I know Joe's going to hate me for this one beating out Scream 6, but this one holds so much nostalgia for me. I love this movie. Freddy's Dead is my number four. The Final Nightmare is such a great film. I know that people hate it. I know that people diss on it. Everybody hates Freddy in it. I think the imagery in this movie is some of the best. I think that some of the dreams are some of the best. I think Freddy is hilariously evil and goofy at the same time. And it's when this is the movie where he just turned and totally embraced it. Completely embraced the goofy. Because people say, oh, it started in part four. Yeah, it did. But some people have also made the argument that it started in part three. I say that it started in part four. It got better in part five because he went back to being scary again. There was a little bit of goofiness, but mostly he was scary, especially in the surroundings of the gothic setting and all that. By the way, did I tell you how much I love part five? Yeah. Anyways, this one I love. I love this for all the cameos. I love it for the fact that they tried different things. I love it that they had the balls to do something different when nobody else did. I still love Freddy's Dead. I don't care what anybody says. You don't like this movie, that's fine. If you don't like me for liking this movie, in the words of Bart Simpson, you can eat my shorts.
Coming up next is a movie that has risen so high on my Chucky ranking. It is Curse of Chucky. This movie is amazing. It is one of the best in the franchise. It is an awesome film. Talk about a back-to-your-roots kind of film. And it's even darker in some ways than the first movie. Really love this film. Now, this was a hard decision. What to put at number two and what to put at number one. This was a huge, hugely hard decision, guys. In at number two is Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, I'm choosing the theatrical cut. I can't stand the producer's cut. Now, truth be told, this is a copy of the producer's cut, as you can see here. But when I bought this, I literally thought it was going to be the theatrical cut or maybe both. In fact, people told me it was a theatrical cut. But the reason I wanted to show this one is this is just a unique copy among my Halloween collection. This is the only one that is like this style, you know, the Suedo VHS look. And I just love it. I think it's awesome. So I wanted to show this one. I think this is just such a cool addition. Even though the movie itself is not my favorite. Except for, you know, of course, the theatrical cut, which is not here. But I do have, of course, many copies of. As for today and this ranking, Nostalgia won the war. Coming in in first place is Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. I have this poster on my wall laminated. I've loved this movie since I was a kid. I mean, literally a kid. I've loved this film since, you know, it came out. I This is the movie that truly made me fall in love with Jason. Had I seen other ones before? Sure. But this is the one that made me fall in love. This is the best Friday the 13th film, maybe with the exception of the remake, in my opinion. You don't have to agree. This is my opinion. But guys, I have to give it up to Jason Lives. I love this movie. Nostalgia definitely wins this one. You know, this barely beat out Halloween 6, but it is what it is. And this is my number one. Guys, I forgot to put the ranking status up at the end of the video last month. I'm sorry for that. I didn't realize it till after it was already posted. I will try to take care of that this month. This is Bronco Juggalo saying, I hope you have a great month. I know it sounded like I wasn't too into this uh, when I first started it this, this month's ranking. I really am. I really have been enjoying it. I'm just having some pain issues today. So please don't let read anything into it. I'm loving this ranking. I'm having so much fun with this. Big shout out to Janjo, my bros for life. Love you guys. Thank you for creating this. Peace out.